Off it like again, and hello, it's Vo, and welcome back to Chad Minka's Collection Adventure. We're gonna pick up where we left off from last time. Ted was dumping another million simoleons in the vault. So we've got 27 million in the vault. I'm sure he's one of the richest sims ever, <laughs> just from hanging around so long. Get him to license his songs. Make sure he's got that passive income coming in. And he goes and visits the mother plant. Just to reset his age. We'll have to buy Ripley an age down from the reward store at some point. Rather than getting her to mess around with the wishing well. While we're here, nip over to Eight Bells, see if we can have a party here. I'll try the incognito costume party. Yeah, pretty similar to a spooky party. We have to have parties in five different places. Get some more silver medals. Way on to the next part of Party Animal. Make sure we select eight bells. So everyone turns up. Everyone's having a good time. <laughs> we only managed to get a bronze medal, but that's fine. We're still having parties in different locations. End the TV season premiere because so we can't have a gold event while there's a holiday happening. We've come over at the park, we want to invite some of our park people. They're sending me text messages itching for another meeting, but yeah, I don't have much interest in the club now. Sorry, guys, you can, go, you can meet up if you want, <laughs> but I'm not coming. <laughs> Pick some people. Get our old chum the maid in on it. We only need two guests, but I'm thinking it might be easier to get the goals if there's more people. Some of the goals are like people having simultaneous conversations. So the more the merrier for that. I look down the list to find the park, and the park isn't on the list. Which is pretty sad. <laughs> so that plans out the window. Got to pick somewhere from the list. Pick the high rise place. It's been bad weather here the last few times we've been. Yeah, we try and work our way through all the tasks. And make it past silver and into gold territory. Thankfully, that counts for us in this stage of the aspiration. Didn't last time, but it does this time. So we can overshoot silver and still get the tick for it. That's good. We're gonna have a dance party. We can't have that as a gold event. It's just Ted and Santa in his sausage costume. It's a shame he gets out of it when we get here. He's all tired out from a couple of parties in a row. He wants to snooze. <laughs> yeah, once he's come round, they shake their stuff on the dance floor. Look at them go. <laughs> yeah, I love these coordinated group dance moves. <laughs> Plenty of fun, the dance parties. Yeah, they don't get us uh, medals. So we'll set up the next party. Just going round on tour. To all these different locations. Make 
and some of the different types of parties would benefit from having as many people as possible rather than just the bare minimum. staff find somewhere good to go a tour of all the different bars so I'll come down to this one next on the list of fine establishments some carving pumpkins for a spooky party. It's not a carving pumpkin station. It's fine, we only needed silver. Now we're on the last stage. We have to throw 10 parties and attend 15 parties and get two golds. That's gonna take a while. <laughs> Maybe not get that finished this episode. Come back and tidy up a bit. Get rid of these dust bunnies and filth fiends before they set the place on fire. Get Millie to attend poor Chester. Who's got glowing feet. So we get that taken care of. There's a dust bunny in here as well. Maybe not feeling melt well, maybe what in treatment, but no, it's getting sold off, sorry. <laughs> no treatment for you. take long before the dust bunnies and the filth is reappearing. Need to feed Mr. Moo as well. Plenty of rubbish in the household inventory. Always tempted to pop it out. Got another water collector, we probably could be doing with that. That'll help reduce the bills. Some random furniture. We've got paintings as a reward for spooky parties. So we'll maybe pop them out somewhere. And our fabricated rugs, of course, we'll have to pop them out. So yeah, I've got to resist temptation to pop out all this furniture. I'm sure it doesn't help the simulation run any better. Yeah, things are not working great. Pop up one painting, disappears, another one appears. <laughs> Got a guess that maybe they're in the right places. Oh, here they come, they're reappearing, disappearing. Got a cool llama. Let's see if we've got to find somewhere to pop that out. Not like a kid's spaceship for the garden, but I presume that's going to be too big. Not that we have little kids, it'll be good for when the grandkids come round. That's still a ways off. I do want to get rid of most of this stuff. Pop a few bits and bobs out. Another rocking chair. I'm sure we can find a place for that. This llama is essential. There we go. Yeah, this sort of play thing is too big. Can we get rid of the outdoor shower as well? We don't need that. We do have more prisoners on the lot who sneak in. Don't want them having access to facilities. Can't have that. We get our other water collector popped out. That will help us with the bills. And help us be truly self-sufficient. Last few things. We'll get uh, Ripley to put the cow plant berry into her inventory. And she can take it away with her to her new garden when she moves house. Go around in sledgehammer, all these seed packets being left by the happy gnome. Tidy all them up. Get back on to the next party. These parties aren't going to host themselves. Just got to keep going. We still don't have to go around different places. We can have multiple parties here. We need to get a couple of golds, but we don't need them immediately. 
with plenty of opportunity to do so. Yeah, we'll work our way through all the different rewards. That would be nice and easy to get up to gold by viewing a pumpkin. But that seems to take forever. He just wants to sit and stare at it and let the timer run out. <laughs> so yeah, silver for a spooky party. We've got the gear here that we should be able to carve pumpkins or look at carved pumpkins, but... It's just viewing a pumpkin seems to have stalled the simulation. So many things that Ted does. Just seems to hang everything. Keep at it. As I say, we've got plenty of opportunities. Even if we don't get the golds immediately. Still getting the parties done. And we should have plenty of time to carve a pumpkin. See how long it takes. See if he's got time for two. Complete the main goal. Push him over the edge. But we find out that, yes, carving a pumpkin is another thing that you can't do because it hangs everything. Of course, we've left the gate open. The paparazzi has come in. Can be our new prisoner. Make sure all the other doors are locked. He's looking hot. He's hanging about in the shade. So we're going to set him on fire. Ask him to wear his um, thick clothes as well. See if we can overheat him. We couldn't freeze people, but we'll see if we can burn them. So we'll switch up our aspiration back to public enemy, just in case he pops his clogs. And then he walks away and just immediately pops his clogs. Perfect timing. Our chum the Grim Reaper turns up to take him away. Just got to get Ted to turn up and witness the death. Apache's all upset about it, crying. Ted's laughing. He starts clapping and stuff. He's, <laughs> he's happy, he's cheery, he's like, yeah! Ha ha ha! That's what they get, paparazzi. <laughs> he's not bothered at all. <laughs> Cold as ice. <laughs> Literally laughing and clapping. <laughs> oh, well. Got another gravestone added to our collection. We'll get that popped out outside. He starts crying afterwards, and I think, oh, maybe the guilt's caught up with him and he feels bad about it now. But then when we switch to him, he's not actually upset about the guy. He's actually mourning one of the cats. <laughs> he truly didn't care <laughs> about that paparazzi. We check the other gravestones, see if we need to reinforce anyone's spirits, and we find that Dale's already away. Don't think we can summon Dale's ghost anymore. Costanza finds her friend, the paparazzi she turned into a vampire. And then we find the option to do some training. And that's how we can complete that part of that aspiration. I was worried she was going to have to have three more children to train her three vampire offspring but thankfully it just means people that they've turned so we head back over to Batu. we didn't have any joy before trying to get stuff out of the rebels area but we uh, uh, used the droids to unlock the crates in the resistance area and we managed to get some extra stuff but it's all Fairly normal, useless stuff. <laughs> Scrap metal, bits and bobs. So then we fall back on doing some lightsaber jewels. We managed to get one hilt, but uh, again, it's a common hilt. It's not one of the ones that we need, unfortunately. But yeah, he's giving it a good go. He's trying his best. Keep grinding away. So we complete that collection. Pop out the gravestone. Our bills are 
lower than they've been for a long time. Because the inspector came round and found that we were in compliance with the neighbourhood action plans. So that's something we should be able to catch up again. I want Ted to try and finish a, a wooden shelf that he's been working on that he left on the workbench, but no, that's another thing he's not allowed to do. <laughs> Got to go to the Humour and Hijinks Festival for a part of City Native. Just in the loading screen, he managed to acquire a motion bomb, which is not much use. <laughs> Nothing was happening at the time, but never mind. He has to light some fireworks. So we go and buy some fireworks. There are some lying around, but we can't interact with them. So we set off a bunch of fireworks get that part of the milestone done. Got to complete a mural next to the art gallery, which is where I presume we are. So we can work on this mural and just stick around and get it done. So the festival wraps up and everyone else disappears and gets the mural done. It doesn't seem to register. We don't get the tick for it. I'm sure we're in the right place. I'm going to have a look at the art gallery itself. Find another place to do a mural that's in the sort of back area of the art gallery. So just in case it means this one and didn't count the other one, we stay and do this mural as well. That's just done two murals now. They're definitely right next to the art gallery. There's no opportunities to do any murals in the art gallery. We've had a good look around. So we just yoink some art. Since they've annoyed us and not give us the tick. <laughs> Go around looking for different areas, different places in the this neighbourhood. And we find where our... Uh, Sort of pretend our second girlfriend, what is it, our side piece, <laughs> where Deborah lives. We want to go and chum up the baby, because we've got to be friends with the three of the kids. So we switch to the right aspiration, and Deborah herself comes in, has a snooze for all of five seconds before she goes to work, and when she goes to work, the baby disappears. It's, re it's really strange. <laughs> Can't click on it, can't click on it to do any interactions. What's happening? Very strange. Says the baby's still there, but we can't click on it. And then when we have a look, the baby's invisible, or isn't there. So confused. <laughs> so yeah, we've got to give up on that plan and come home. We'll have more opportunities to befriend the baby. Try and get progress in Big Happy Family. That was pretty strange. Till then, we've got parties to go to. Gonna have another dance party. I'm gonna go with the maid, our old chum, the maid. As soon as she turns up, she wants to go for a snooze. And then after two seconds of snoozing, she immediately wants to get up and perish. <laughs> after waiting so long to witness a sim passing, and then two within just a short space of time, we like the maid, that's one of our oldest chums. So we're not going to let them pop away. I refuse to let the maid pass on. <laughs> not even going to wait to de-deathify her. Just going to chum up death, give him one of the death flowers or ask, beg. Yeah, we've got loads of death flowers in our inventory. Grim Reaper seems to like that. Accepted a good trade. You can have the maid back. I'm sorry, you're not allowed to die. <laughs> yeah, everyone's psyched by that. <laughs> they were all crying, now they're all like, yay! Oh, that was eventful. Let's see if Clement's ready to go again. 
Look at those moves. Synchronized dancing kings. <laughs> yeah, the DJ seems to be wandering away a lot now. So Ted can take over for the remainder of the dance party. Play the wheels of steel. too concerned about having gold events to try and get uh, the gold medals and we've got 15 different parties to go to yeah, we can try towards the end until then time for boogieing <laughs> look at them go yeah, the ancient ruins is a good place for a party yeah, he knows all the moves look at him scratching and everything He's a pro. <laughs> yeah, the dance parties are straightforward. Nice and easy, get through them all. Try and get the 10 parties done. And then get a little bit more serious for the last few. Try and get that gold medal. It's the descendant of Tina Tinker. on a bit but still able to shake their stuff <laughs> everyone's having a good time yeah, Caleb he likes a dance party everyone likes a dance party so I just made it to having 10 parties now we'll come back for the other five and hopefully get our two goals until then do take it easy I'll see you all in the next one <laughs>